Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and a game between Virus Satini versus Duck Load Raw here on Jungle Basin. Virus Satini spawning as the orange Terran player here at the what I'll call the top left hand side, the 10 o'clock position. Meanwhile, Duck Load Raw spawning as the red Zerg here at what I'll call the 5 o'clock position as the red Protoss. This is Protoss versus Terran, and I am still adjusting some of the audio settings on my computer. This time around, I am trying to forego using the USB condenser microphone and opting to go for uh, the upgraded sound card input. So let me know if this sounds better or worse. One of the benefits, though, is that I am actually able to hear in-game sounds. So if there's a nuclear launch detected, I will actually be able to spot it for you. Some of you guys were saying, there was a nuclear launch detected. How come you guys, how come you don't focus on it or look for it? Well, I have been doing all of my casting without in-game sounds, so it's kind of hard to spot it unless you um, are aware of it beforehand. We have Satini now just opening up that standard build order. This is Jungle Basin, a map that has not that has not been played on for quite some time. A lot of players didn't like the map. They removed it from the map pool from Battle.net play. But you will remember that there is a low ground expansion here as opposed to a low and a low ground expansion here. So both players are able to get that second base very early on. Duckload Rod now making his way out with the probe. It looks like Satini going to go down and make sure that there is no proxy pylon or no proxy py um, proxy play over here as well as Satini now scouts out with his SCV as well. The barracks will not be up in time. So Peppy the Pro pretty much going to be able to walk around on the inside of this base and get as much information as possible. Now as this game continues, uh, Probe just going to do a little bit of harassment there. I expect a Marine upgrade to an Orbital Command and uh, Duckload Rod needs to pause the game for just a moment apparently. As the game now continues, no delay for us since we're watching a replay. Duckload Rod now opting to go for that Cybernetic Score, not training an earlier Zealot. And he is still training more and more probes, so we'll see around the 3 minute and 30 second mark. If he does stop his probe production, that would mean that he is trying to go for a 4 gate. He is now sitting at 22 food. Um, if he does continue to train up more probes, then that means he is not going to go for an all-in 4 gate. And we'll see what Duckload Raw tries to do over here. A Marine was able to push away that one probe. I believe the SCV is going to come back and make sure that there are additional... Um, additional probes being trained out of the expansion location here and oh no additional probes are being trained so um, perhaps Duckload Raw is just gonna wait and continue to get as many no now training up probes once more so still not quite sure why Duckload Raw is slowing down on his production just a little bit on probes meanwhile Satini is still sitting off of one base play no factory yet and he may be going for a command center he may also try to go for a Reaper as well Reapers are a very, very nice unit early on. They handle Zealots very well. Um, and then the Marauder is also there to try to handle that Stalker. Command Center already coming in into play by Satini. And now we'll see what exactly Duckload Raw wants to go for. He is getting a second gas now. And it looks like he's going to be setting up his Nexus over here at the low ground expansion as well. Getting that expansion down over here on the bottom left hand side and then just wandering around even further. There are Marauders and Marines and they look to do a little bit of harassing damage and we'll see if any mileage will really come out of that. The Marine already making his way out and he's not going to be able to check this location here as a Stalker is going to be able to start pushing and start dealing some damage. The Marine now trying to get some damage onto that one particular probe. The Stalker was almost able to get off a second shot there as the Marine now tries to return home. Perhaps getting a couple more Marauders beside him. The concussive shells have been researched and Satini now sitting back up on the high ground no aggressive play Satini now just going into mass racks play getting three barracks and still only running off of one gas meanwhile back over here oh duck load raw looking to perhaps warp in units across this gap and get some damage onto the natural expansion here he's going to be able to warp in units off of these gateways very very easily as this is going to be now going into a i believe a four gate push with a robotics facility that one probe now already getting shot down there and 
and now Duckload Rod does have one sentry. He will be able to war wall off pretty well against any Hurley harassment as now a Zealot runs straight into the mineral line already, stopping the mining over here. That one Zealot now, however, going to get it concussively slowed, trying to get some damage onto that lower hit point SCV. And I believe no SCVs were killed in that engagement there. And now the Marauders battling it out against over here. And oh, a force field unabling not allowing those units to try to run away. I believe one sentry is going to get sniped down there as a zealot now tries to continue that pressure and that pushing over there. One zealot, another zealot now taking down the sentry, desperately trying to run away, hiding in the brush. And oh, beautiful micro by Duckload Raw there, enabling him to save that low hit point sentry. Sentries do cost a lot of gas. And saving it in order, in order to allow him to get, just place down more force fields is very, very crucial. We now see a warp prism coming in as well. So a warp prism may try to uh, drop in along here, put a ramp or put a force field on a ramp here by the sentries and then get a lot of damage onto these SCVs as the SCVs will have nowhere to run either. You can see that this pylon had taken some damage, but it doesn't look like the Marines and the Marauders are going to really be able to finish it off there. Duckload Raw now expanding and getting more gas and opting to go for a robotics bay for Colossi. And now here you go, it is going to be, what, three stalkers and a zealot on the move, perhaps dropping along this backside here as a majority of the units are sitting over here by that front door and trying to protect the natural expansion, leaving the main base rather exposed. We now see an observer making its way out, sentries being very careful to guard this ramp, making sure that no units come in along that side. As a probe now going to be coming in over here, he may try to warp in another pylon, but that marine is going to be able to spot him. Yeah, another pylon going to be coming in, that marine going to be able to see it very, very easily. Perhaps if he warped in the pylon here, it would actually be more beneficial as it is as he's trying to do the same trick more than once that pylon, now taking some damage already. And now the shields look like it may get taken down as a drop now happening in the main base. Now picking up all of those units, the zealot being left behind there. It is going to get taken down, but it's going to allow the warp prism to escape as that zealot was able to absorb a lot of that damage. Pylon now looking to get destroyed as zealots were trying to warp in, unable to do so. Warp prism just hanging off over here at the left side of the map. It doesn't look like... He wants to try to continue any of his dropship play as the medevacs are reactors now being doubly built with double reactors allowing for double vikings and double medevacs. It looks like Satini has a very good handle and control knowing that a duckload raw wants to go for colossi and as soon as there's what four to five excuse me four to five sets of vikings 10 vikings total those colossus are not going to be able to or colossi are not going to be able to deal that much damage command center most likely will be lifting off and coming down over here in just a moment as we are now getting a marine finishing off one scouting probe observer also to keep track of what's happening in this location as well Duckload Raw still running off of two bases while satini opting to expand into a third base now Taking a look at the unit counts, we have 60 probes versus 54 um, SCVs, so a slight advantage there by Duckload Raw. But there are um, mules in play as well, as we are now opting to go into the level 1 weapons upgrade, and now training up 4 Vikings at a time. Those 4 Vikings are going to be able to deal a lot of damage very, very easily towards these Colossi here. Two Colossi, a third one also being added as well. Extended Thermal Lance range almost completed as the Marines and the Marauders lining up and taking down these destructible rocks. Level 1 weapons upgrade will not be completed. And I do not think Duckwold Ross sees this just quite yet. He is not responding with the proper army. He cannot see what's happening quite over here. He can see that their rocks have taken some damage, but is just simply waiting at this time. So as soon as these rocks um, do go down, he may try to move out as a command center, upgrading to a planetary fortress most likely. We'll try to fend off this location here. Vikings are on the move and able to see that there is no army lying in wait. Very, very nice play by Satini, making sure that he is not going to push into a, a, a group of units there. And now Stalker is trying to come over. One pylon quickly going to get destroyed as the main army of Zealots and Colossi now coming in. The Vikings are going to be able to receive that uh, welcoming party right there and getting a lot of damage onto one of those Colossus already. Those Colossus deciding to back off. 
and the Vikings are in retreat. Satini now adding to his Viking production. Um, why get reactors if you're just going to train a Viking on each of those? It doesn't really make that much sense as the Vikings now continue to move out. Planetary Fortress has finished being upgraded. Missile turret already in position as well, trying to snipe down any observers as well as a probe now looking to expand perhaps over here. And that's going to be very, very dangerous as it is, it is going to try to warp in a pylon, but the Marine going to get enough damage onto that probe very, very easily canceling. Oh, getting stuck behind there for just a moment and now getting more damage onto that pylon. There is an observer over here by the Zelnaga Watchtower as well. SCVs should be on auto repair to try to repair some of those Vikings and medevacs as those SCVs are now going to be transferred to the natural ex or this middle expansion location here on Jungle Basin. Duckload Rod does have 1-1 one, one upgrades, a Zealot able to easily finish off that Marine as he was unable to take down that Pylon. Marines and Marauders um, should be trying to take this location here, but I do not believe Duckload Rod knows how far behind he is. The longer this game goes, the worse it is going to be for him as this expansion is giving him, uh, giving Satini a significant advantage at this stage, being able to call down mules and mine more minerals. Duckload Raw sitting with four Colossi, and now Vikings quickly coming in and getting off two rounds of attack, but wow, the armor upgrades on the Colossus, saving that one Colossus to be able to fight again another day. Stalkers now coming in, but the Marine and Marauders are simply too much. The Stalkers need to retreat as a Zealot sitting over here getting enough another kill, and now a Marauder may try to come in, but for some reason the Zealot not going to engage against that Marauder. There you go, now charging in and dealing damage back and now no zealot charge there as that one marauder just using that stutter step and able to finish off that last lone zealot we are going to get a proxy pylon over here as well the marine going to come in and see that there is another pylon trying to warp in over on this side of the map and for some reason the marauder did not decide to take down this pylon another zealot coming in two one upgrades as a nexus being expanded over here at the three o'clock expansion location Marauders and Marines finishing off that pylon with relative ease. Now going to go ahead and take down this Nexus here. And I think Satini just has too many units to counter Duckload Raw at this time. The Vikings are almost, what, 15 Vikings in the air. 15 times 24. I believe that's, that's enough to two-shot a Colossus, if not... Um, one shot it just enough no the guardian shield going to prevent a lot of that damage marines and marauders need to engage the vikings need to engage as well and you can see how much damage is being dealt already the stalkers now chasing after those units there as the colossi now just eating apart and trying to split up this army this is going to become very very bad as the vikings now have a high ground advantage and are able to pull away and now the marauders are going to come in from behind as well stalkers do have blink both sides are going to battle it out marines and marauders continuing to fight colossi now getting destroyed very easily as the Marauders are also getting cleaned up as well. The Vikings now going into ground mode, and they are going to be able to deal a lot of damage towards those Stalkers. Marines and Marauders fighting back over here, and the Terran army is significantly behind, but with because of those Metavacs, should be able to offer a lot of support. The Marines and Marauders now trying to get some additional distance. The Vikings up on the high ground, just raining down damage with those Gatling cannons, and the Zealots able to finish off the rest of that but there are more units being trained four medevacs six marines level two armor upgrades but level three weapons upgrade on those zealots as well as the probes are now being transferred so satini um, who had a sizable lead and no longer has that same lead as well as he is now down to 47 harvesters compared to 62 production wise we are going into a dark shrine and that may spell a little bit of trouble for Satini as what zealots and stalkers are going to be trying to put pressure over here no siege tanks in the, um, to be found as the what the colossi getting some damage and now you can see that the Vi stalkers are now needing to fight down many of those vikings the vikings are now destroyed and this one colossus make it a lot of damage in very easily needs to, needs to pull away though and has to try to utilize his longer um, longer range and try to deal more damage double expansions by duckload raw so duckload raw now and um, having to fight a war on two fronts we'll see what's going to happen it's going to be four bases versus three as the income advantage definitely belonging to duckload raw now uh, marines and marauders going to be able to finish off this expansion location here in just a moment units are desperately trying to come over duckload raw two two upgrades Zealots now trying to come in. Stalkers blinking underneath the medevac there. And now the Zealots also engaging. No Vikings nearby at all. So the Colossi are going to be able to rack up that damage very, very easily. It just needs to get more and more splash damage in order to capitalize. 
and it looks like the Marauders now trying to go battle toe-to-toe -to -toe against a Colossus. Down one goes as the Colossus now continues to chase. Level 3 weapons upgrade, more long-distance mining here. As this battle does continue, Vikings and now SCVs coming off the mineral line. Satini in a bit of trouble, a last-ditch effort trying to move over Marines and Marauders to finish off. And now down goes another Colossus. The Stalkers now going to try to give chase here, but the Zealots inside the base. Zealots inside the base, so difficult to deal with. No mining happening at the Planetary Fortress as the Zealots are now running straight through into the mineral line here. The SCVs are going to get sliced up very, very easily. And I believe Duckload Raw easily going to take this game here on Jungle Basin. Satini now down to 31 Harvesters, 30 Harvesters. Dark Templars are out in the field as well. And there is plenty of energy for those Orbital Commands to Scanner Sweep it. Where are those Dark Templars? I do not see them. I, I know they're out in the field. Um, where are they? An army of Stalkers over here. Dark Templars are over here. Do they have any kills? No, not quite yet. They're just going to simply walk up that ramp and see what damage they can deal and what damage they can do. And now just going to walk straight into here, start taking down the mules. And now the Stalkers are also dealing damage over here. The main battle, however, coming over here though, as the Vikings and the Marines and the Marauders are going to engage. One Dark Templar now coming in. Stalkers also engaging as well. Dark Templars mixed in with that army, getting a lot of kills. And a lot of damage. I believe as soon as the rest of the Stalkers are down, the Scanner Sweep should be coming in. There it goes. There's the Scanner Sweep. Probes coming off the Mineral Line. And now this also, this Command Center has been taken down. So really one base play as what, oh, the Planetary Fortress is able to spot because of this Missile Turret. So the get what the Twin Cannon or Abicus Cannon is able to shoot it down there. And now Satini in a bit of trouble. He, he is trying to run off a one base play. The scanner sweeps are very, very limited now as he has lifted off the orbital command, will not be able to scanner sweep at all. The supply depots are now going to become supply, are causing a supply lockage as the what? A Raven desperately needs to be trained up. The Raven can get destroyed though, or the starport can get destroyed really, really quickly. The Dark Templars need to make their way over as the starport is now down in the play. Does Duckload Raw see it? He does not see it. As the units are once again on the move, Satini looking to try to get some damage over here. There are a lot of Dark Templar now coming in, slashing their way at this army of Photon Cannon, and Satini says GG. So Satini um, losing game one here to Duckload Raw on Jungle Basin. Very, very well played. I had thought Satini was... Um, had a significant advantage, but because of those Dark Templars, those Dark Templars were just able to walk over uh, Satini's base. Normally, I suggest Terran players having two starports, one with the reactor, one with the tech lab, just so that you don't have to do a middle-of-the-game swap in order to train up Ravens or Banshees, and that's what Duckload Raw was able to do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Duckload Raw and Satini here on Jungle Basin.